Well, if you're a fan of film photography, you may have noticed it's a lot harder to get your hands on cameras and canisters of film. It's also a lot more expensive. <laughs> this is music. I, know, I like it when you start talking. Do I do a in. fist pump yeah. in the air? Eva Anderson shares how the new generation developed an old school interest, causing an unexpected shortage. Good things come to those who wait. And today at From National Camera Exchange, National Camera Exchange, National Camera Exchange, National Camera Exchange, the wait oh, is go. over. We have more color film in. We did get some 400 Kodak Ultramax in. Jana so, and this Jason. Is, this is an outdoor film. Have their hands right? on a hot commodity. You know, it's almost impossible to color film. Now requiring wait lists. We go a month at a time without any color and then we get like 40 or 50 rolls and they go out in a weekend. I had a customer tell me like every time they shoot a roll it's like getting a Christmas present. Beginning two years ago supply chain struggles arose from what Jason calls the perfect storm. Kodak and Fuji started to slow down their production and suddenly masses of Gen Zers began clamoring for classic cameras. In the past you haven't been able to really reach out to kids in their 20s or even in their teens. That totally changed and now if you're under 30, basically, and you're in my store, you're probably looking for a film camera. That includes 19-year-old Brooks Witta. I grew up on digital photography and digital video, but then I stumbled across a bunch of YouTube videos about film photography, and I just liked it because it was kind of against the grain of the whole digital age. It couldn't have been planned more perfectly. Apps like TikTok and the internet, Instagram, those kind of blew up film photography. New media, often known for clutter and noise, getting fast-paced followers to focus. It's like a form of meditation. Teens turning to an intentional art. With film, you're limited to 10 to 15 shots per roll, so you got to really think about your composition, and I like the process of how film kind of slows you down. This newfound love is fun for Brooks, but frustrating for people like Jacob Flatabo. It's frustrating to have Every camera price go up, every film stock price go up. He's been doing film a lot longer and has had to pass the soaring price of his profession and the delays <laughs> onto his clients. The 50 to 60 dollars, it's like 80 to 100 for five rolls, you know, a couple months and you gotta pray that they get there in time. Which is why today, when the wait has paused, even briefly, it's something special. These kids have never had to wait for anything, right? It's a feeling fit for a holiday. I always describe it as like, it's like Christmas morning. It's a really nice feeling knowing that like, you made that picture like through a chemical process. It's just magic. Eva Anderson, Care 11 News.